Ich glaube, dass die Leute sich näher kommen können, wenn sie Wege finden, ihre Gefühle auszudrücken. Deswegen ma ma mögen, sehr, mögen sehr viele Leute sehr ruhig mich eingeschossen, weil sie einfach so denkt. Und ich möchte... Und, und, und you can't be mad at somebody who thinks like that. Ah, fein. Ah, no. Yeah. Das geht beginnen zu protestieren, aber es wird dir schwer, ihre Gedanken zu Worte zu formen. Ich weiß nicht, wenn du ein Gedicht dazu schreibst. Ich habe einfach keine Kontrolle über das Tempo. Ich kann nicht jemanden treffen und sofort die beste Freundin sein, die alles über sich teilt. So geht das nicht. Manchmal will ich einfach nur chillen und relaxen. An our next day. Die Reue liegt viel daran, eine gute Freundin zu sein. Sie wäre sicher glücklich darüber, dass du ihre Freundschaft mit dir verbessern willst. Vielleicht. Ach, es fühlt sich so dumm an, mit jemandem darüber reden, wie man befreundet sein will. Das ist einfach schräg und nicht gut. Monika zuckt mit ihren Schultern. Das ist der Literaturclub. Dann mobilt sie durch ihre unterdrückte Skelette Nächte. Es ist nicht der Cool Club. in this side story. Am I bothering you? Uh, no. Okay, just checking. It's hard to tell since you always look so into it when you are reading. It makes me scared to interrupt. Well, it's within my expectation to be interrupted when I read here. It's mainly when I'm by myself that I don't like it. Hmm. That makes sense. I guess if you're here in the first place, then you're more ready to socialize, even if it takes a little bit of prudding. It's not so bad to be social if I let others to do the work. So it can be healthy to put myself in a social environment every now and then. It's mostly difficult when I don't know anyone, or there are too many people, or everyone is being too silly for me to keep up with. Yuri glances across the room. It's a Yuri Natsuki. Sayuria has her head cocked back at her mouth open, trying to catch pieces of a cookie that Natsuki is loving into the air, but the pieces keep bouncing off her face and hitting the floor. Maybe I should say something. No need, they just ran out of cookie. What a waste. <laughs> Okay, how about your favorite food? That's easy, that's easy. Cherries! Really? I always thought cherries tasted nasty. What? Cherries are delicious! Wow, that's a pretty strong reaction. Well, I just don't understand how somebody could think cherries are nasty. How does it make you feel? I don't know, sad? Defensive, maybe? Yeah, I got defensive. See, the real reason you had such a strong reaction was just because I don't like cherries. It's because you felt like your opinion was on an attack. But that's weird, right? Something like taste is completely subjective. But when I say something like I think cherries taste nasty, I'm using objective language. I'm challenging Sayori's reality that cherries are delicious with my own, which is that cherries are nasty. Often I hear nasty, I always I always have this one meme in my in my head. It's just it's just nasty. Just um, this is the cherries are nasty. Something like that. Oh that's nasty. Wait, hold on! How is that objective when you just said it was only your own opinion? It has to do with the way you our brains interpret in the interpret. The words. You're talking about the reality of the cherries, not your feelings about them. Like Sayori. Let's rewind for a second and pretend I didn't tell you that I think cherries are nasty. Good. So what if instead of that I said like, I've tried cherries and they're not for me. It's not the kind of flavor I enjoy. Well, that's fine. As long as you don't call them nasty. This is a nasty word. Okay, so... Cherries was kind of a weird example, but I think it gets the point across. 
This time around, instead of talking about their cherries, I just talked about my feelings and they already didn't get defensive. But instead of clashing with each other, it's like we received an invitation to talk about our differences. Yuri, you don't need to take notes. I'm not gonna quiz you or something. Yeah, does Yuri really just... I know that. I was just... Mm -hmm. Sorry, I didn't mean to call you out. You can do whatever you like. Well, does anyone have any thoughts so far? Yeah, I just feel like I shouldn't have to put all my language for a filter just to protect someone's feelings. Well, you don't have to. The choice is yours. The choice is yours. On how you want to come across to other people. I'm only suggesting it as a tool to help you to help turn your differences into a positive experience rather than an agreement. Right, Sayuri? Whatever you say, Jerry Tater. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> and from this point on, this is not the reason why Sayuri has a little grudge against Bodica. <laughs> The side story is not only got relatable but also interesting from the story perspective. So hey, I actually lectures. I was just saying that to help demonstrate. What the heck? I've been duped! <laughs> I'm sorry, Sayori. I'll make it up to you later. Or from cherry ice cream. Oh what a cherry sun! <laughs> I could I I I I I mean you are welcome to dupe me anytime, my beloved president. That sounded weird. And you are people's loyalty. How deplorable. Oh, like you would turn down a free Sunday, Yuri. You were certainly a fan of those cupcakes I brought in there. Out of week. That, that was, I mean, I was reading and not keeping track of them. Oh, that's enough. We're getting off topic. I'm not a child, you don't have to coddle my feelings. I always think it's more respectable to just speak your mind. Respectable? Your expression changes at that word. As one of recalls, being respected was the crux of the matter for Yuri. Well, the point of the exercise isn't exactly like... It's fine. I have nothing against anyone personally. You're entitled to enjoy whatever it is you like. I just prefer more depth and nuisance in my reading material. I look for stories that are imaginative and sophisticated beyond the surface level. Oh, well, that's just a misunderstanding then. I thought you were gonna say that manga is for children or something. Like I don't have here enough of that. And I just bring this little thing up because actually, manga, okay, yeah, there are manga for children, yeah. But then there's the adult manga, which includes a lot of blood, gore, porn, a lot of porn, too much porn, but also gore, and blood, and swearing, and st other stuff that just combines all of the previous ones and are too dangerous to talk about because, boy, they are dangerous. <laughs> like, a lot of things. <laughs> But there's plenty of deep manga. How deep exactly? Like... <laughs> I'm not upset. But like I said, I don't care what other people think. But I always got the impression that you secretly looked down upon me. So I'm glad my suspicions were confirmed. So you want to say that you're is... <laughs> And at this point, I just, I know that I will get hurt by myself because no, because no, I know that Roman who is editing the, the video for at this point in time will just probably already search up <coughs> some, some Among Us related meme, put it into the video, then came back to this point and just goes, yeah, I hate you for doing this Roman from the past. Which, by the way, Roman, who's editing this, fish you. 
But also, you you get a you get an ice cream, even though actually I'm. Let's just continue. Oh, how are you today? Huh? Me? Well, yes. <laughs> oh gosh. Say so I was just caught off guard. I'm doing well today. Just tired. I never seem to get enough sleep during that week. How come? Uh, I don't know. I think I'm just easily distracted. I get really sucked into things and start neglecting the time. Me too. I do that too. <laughs> hey, this classroom is empty. Let's go in here. After peering inside, Monica opens the classroom door and the two of them enter. Yuri's mom, Yuri's moment of relaxation ends. She watches as Monica pulls two chairs up to the same desk and over base as Monica beckons her to take a seat. She stares down at the empty desk. You nervous? I, I don't want to do this. We don't. We don't have to. We can come up with something else. Yuri shakes her head. It's my chance to do something good. I need to take the initiative. Gosh, you must be really determined. Gosh, you must be really Undertale choked. I know how hard it is to step out of your comfort zone. I'll be sure to encourage you. Yuri pushes her anxiety and grabs. Uh, Yuri pushes through her anxiety and grabs a handful of lined paper from her notebook. Then she picks up her pen. And this wonderful picture is here. Hey, you, you're left handed. That's neat. Oh, yeah. Now I don't have to worry about bumping your arm. Oh, I. Monica playfully, playfully rubs her shoulder against Yuri's. I'm confused. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just being really silly, I guess. Anyway, how about we start by listing, listing the different things you want to say to her? Mm hmm. Yuri thinks. I feel embarrassed all of a sudden. Hmm. Aw, it's okay. How about some of the things you said to me, to me yesterday? But never mind. I'll try. I guess I try. Everything's for a month longer. Then her tension evi evident. Then she writes the word reflection. This is about my reflection on our behavior. The key question is why we acted like this towards each other but have been able to separately be friends with Sayori and Monica. That's me. Yeah, that's you. That's you. That's, that's her. That's her. That's not the other one. That's her. It's Monica. Yes, it is. <laughs> so. Yuri thinks. I've been able to befriend the two of you because you've taken the time to understand my needs and respect my interests. Mm hmm The same goes for Natsuki too. We started off as pretty hostile to each other because I was so worried about getting what I wanted but she just wanted to be respected more than anything else. Once I stopped making it all about me, she was able to do the same. I wanted, I want to do that too. So what kinds of things do you want to do for her? I want... I want to do the same things for her that I like to receive. I like it when people respond positively to the things I talk about and not just brush me off. I like it when my feelings are, be ta are taken seriously. And I like when you and Sayori trust that I want to be a good person even when I'm not doing a good job at all. Let's write those things down. Okay. Now write some things down. I think the most important thing to remember here is that Natsuki is feeling vulnerable, so we should make sure that the letter puts her first. It's hard when you're feeling hurt, but it never helps to just tell someone all the things that they, they're doing wrong. I think 
First you have to make sure that they know you're ready to respect them and listen to them and admit the things that you feel you could do better. Then finally you ask what you would like in return. How does that sound for the structure? It could be three paragraphs, one for each one of these of the of those points. I liked it. My thoughts were so disorganized. I had no idea how to come up with any kind of structure. You're so amazing at these things. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> You're, you've done so much more than I have, you know? You're so much... <clears throat> you you spend so much time reflecting and being open-minded. It's the hardest thing for anyone to do. All I'm doing is helping you put it on a piece of paper. So I think you're that the amazing one. Also, it's weird that they look literally each other into the eye. Like there's some rela some some relationship going on. Mm hmm. Margaret gives you his hands, a quick squeeze. But as she lets go, she is caught by surprise when Yuri cuts her fingers to hook Monica hand, Monica's hand in place. For a while, they sit like that in silence, save for occasional scratching of Yuri's pen against the paper. Yesterday you told me something that I'm thinking about a lot. What was it? To think about how feelings aren't right or wrong, and they... And that they are just a state of being we need to come to terms with. It made me think about how a person's behavior is not always just how they decide to be. It's always also made up of their past experiences and their insecurities. I think that helps me see other people as actual people rather than as insignificant. Side characters who are out to get some to get to me somehow. Is that how you felt about Natsuki? Yuri nods. But in reality, everyone is always trying their best, and everyone wants to be happy. Margaret appears over at Yuri's paper, but to her surprise, Yuri pulls it in closer, partially covering it with her arm. <laughs> I have to be able to read it to help out, you know. It's okay. My thoughts are a lot more organized now, after being able to talk to you about it. Now that I'm actually putting it on paper, I really, yeah, re <laughs> I realized that I really prefer others not to read it. Ruth laughs softly to herself. A rare expression. I'm kind of glad to hear that, actually. I somehow keep finding ways to butt into this whole thing. I've done enough damage. <laughs> but it's also been so wonderful talking about this. I mean, I always thought you were really smart, but... Mary smiles. I will always be terrible at these things. People are just so incomprehensible. Incomprehensible to me. I'll never get the hang of being one. <laughs> but listening to you... So much has really helped me make sense of some things. So just don't call it damage, please. Margaret gives Yuri a gentle smile. I can't believe I came to this club looking for fantasy geeks, and all I got was real friends who value me. And some hashtag relatable stuff that I somehow don't like. But also really too much to relate to, which is the reason why I don't like it. Huh. Is that a joke? Of course it is. <laughs> I still can tell with you. Sorry. No, I love it. Please never change. Well, besides this one this one or two parts, wait, please. As you wish, my beloved president. <laughs> This joke from Sayuri got into my head, oh no. Yuri glances at the clock. We're almost out of time. Will you be able to finish? Before the end of the day, probably. 
but I want to come to the club the same day that Natsuki reads it. I'm too shy. I can give it to her instead if you like. Yuri nods. As long as you promise not to read it. Of course, I promise. Thank you. Yuri exhales, and the two stand up. I'll man message you when it's ready. Monica nods. Good luck. I'm here if you needed me. Need me? Yuri returns a nod, and then the two depart. <laughs>